Hey, hi, Sue Moore here, former banker and founder of The Moore Connection. Today we're going to do the uh, video on prospecting and marketing. That is the follow-up to the video we did last week on mindset. If you remember correctly, last week we talked about the three keys to business success, mindset, prospecting, and marketing. And um, I think I said originally that I was going to break those into three videos. But I've thought better of that because while prospecting and marketing are not the same, they certainly do work together very cohesively. And so I thought it would be a better idea to unpack both of them so we can see the differences and then put it back together as to how it can really work in your business. So here we go. Uh, prospecting is an active activity. Because as uh, Sherlock Holmes used to do, he used to look for the criminals and the clues. Well, with prospecting, that's what you're doing. You are looking for leads. And um, the reality, as you know, is that the way to grow your team and your business is to get eyeballs onto your presentation, which means you've got to have people to talk to. So prospecting becomes very, very active. You are reaching out to warm market, cold market, um, online, offline, um, and looking for people who would be open to at least listening to what you have to say. Now, you can prospect anywhere, to anyone, at any time. That's perfectly fine. Uh, some people call that lifestyle marketing, which is great. Um, and you can, um, but you have to understand that that works slowly. Most people, when they join network marketing businesses, think they're going to, you know, set the world on fire in six months. And some people actually do, but the average is about three to five years. I've heard other numbers of like two to four years, but nevertheless, it's not as fast as most people think. So what I've learned though about prospecting uh, is that the more specific you can be about the people you're trying to uh, work with, the better off it is. So by picking uh, a market or markets uh, and knowing uh, where they hang out and what their pain points are and, and um, uh, what you have to offer that could be a solution to their problem is really, really uh, probably a more effective way than just throwing something out there. Now, um, uh, marketing, on the other hand, is what's known as a passive activity. You are posting, you're putting an offer out there, you're um, uh, placing an ad, you're doing some kind of outreach uh, to the general market, uh, to people you do not know, and you're hoping that the general market, the people you do not know are going to read it and respond to you and say, oh, I'll take two, okay? Please don't uh, fool yourself into thinking that's the way it gets done. It doesn't get done that way. Now, um, here's, the, here's the beauty of, of marketing and prospecting together. When you um, arrange your business development efforts around prospecting, very specifically to certain groups of people and marketing to putting value about what you can do and what you bring to the market through your social media platforms. Now you've got a real dynamite uh, combination. A lot of people will say, oh, you can do everything online, just use your, your Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. And there are people who are, who are getting a lot of success that way. I'm a little bit more skeptical than that, and uh, I would rather do something like that and couple it with going specifically to a certain segment. We all know that. I mean, in any segment, it's, it's fine. There's no right or wrong. I mean, there's. I'm a banker, a former banker, so I obviously target people in those industries because I know what their pain points are. I, I, I've got that T-shirt, you know? So I can have a conversation with a banker I do not know and ask very pertinent questions about what's going on in their current situation. And then have the opportunity to say, you know, it just really kind of sounds like you might be open to taking the next step. And nine out of 10 of them will say, yeah, let me see what you got.
okay? So that's the value in having um, you know, a specific market that you're going to. Some people will do more than one market. Some markets uh, uh, overlap very nicely with each other. Whatever works for you is fine. But the two sources of lead generation are prospecting and marketing, and they are partners. So like Batman and Robin, the dynamite duo will really pack a result that is nice. You will see um, number of conversations you have increase. You'll see the number of, of people either becoming customers or consultants uh, increasing because you have positioned yourself as a subject matter expert on how to grow a business and people want to affiliate with people not only that they know, like, and trust, but they think they know what they're doing and so they can be taught step by step. So that's essentially prospecting and networking. Now, uh, to f full disclosure, there is a ton of information behind each one of those that I'd be happy to share with you uh, personally. Uh, you can reach out to me. My, my contact information is somewhere here on this video uh, with my email address and my phone number and so forth. Um, and I'd love to give you just, you know, I'll share with what I'm doing. Not that I have it all knocked because I'm working as hard as anybody else is. But I just wanted to share this. I just wanted you to know that there is a difference between marketing and, and um, prospecting. And that once you understand that and can incorporate that into the way you go about uh, developing new leads for your business, uh, the faster you're going to see success. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I hope you have a good Memorial Day. This happens to be Memorial Day. And um, thanks so much for listening. You know where to find me if uh, I can be of any help to you. Thanks so much. Journey well. Take care. See you on the other side.